Now, your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. The storms that moved through Friday afternoon hit parts of East Hampton hard. Eversource crews working to restore power there, especially near East Hampton High School. Several trees came down as well as across the neighborhood, including a tree down on a house on Williston Avenue. About 500 people were without power after the severe weather. Early voting opens for the primary election here in Massachusetts Saturday, and we'll go on through next week. This past legislative session, the Votes Act was passed and signed into law, which makes pandemic voting options, including early voting and mail-in ballots, permanent moving forward. West Springfield's town clerk tells Western Mass News early voting has become a popular choice for local voters. And turning now to an exclusive follow-up on a story we first brought you earlier this week. A Springfield girl had her bike stolen from her yard. And after seeing our story, we received numerous calls and emails with people looking to help. Friday, nine-year-old Tylesia Wheeler got to pick out a new bike, thanks to Western Mass News viewer Emily Hall. Hall says she want, knows rather how important it is for a kid to have a bike and wanted to show Tylesia there is still good in the world. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown to check of your forecast. All is quiet out there tonight with any lingering showers exiting early. Some patchy fog around for tomorrow morning, then a mix of sun and clouds with temperatures climbing back to the low 80s for the Pioneer Valley. Some upper 70s for the Hilltowns and Berkshires. A bit muggy at times throughout the day Saturday with light breezes out of the north. Humidity starts climbing just a little bit on Sunday. So do the temperatures, a high of 84 and partly cloudy. It turns hot and humid early next week. Both Monday and Tuesday, temperatures are going to get awfully close to 90 and temps at night will be getting milder as well as that humidity starts to climb. Now our next cold front looks to approach sometime late Tuesday. This is going to bring some scattered showers and thunderstorms, a few of which could linger into Wednesday morning. Wednesday afternoon, humidity starts to lower, but temperatures are still warm. Humidity stays fairly comfortable, maybe just a, a little muggy on Thursday, and there could be a spot shower around. Then sunshine is back to end the week and start the holiday weekend. Temperatures cool and comfortable to wrap up the week. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.